Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Komi, and yeah. So, in today's review, we're going to be talking about the FIO UTWS5 and the Tin Hi Fi T3. Now, to keep the name short, I'm just going to call the FIO uh, UTWS5 the, the FIO and the Tin Hi Fi T3 just the Tin 3s. I made this into, into a double review because, you know, I, I own, I've been only been using the Tin 3s on these, so it's like, all right, so, um, you know, this is the only I am I have been using it with the FIO, and I also haven't done a review with it, so might as well make it a double review, and I'll also talk about the, the Tin 3s while I'm talking about the FIO, so, yeah, so this is what it looks like out of the case, you know, oh, they also, mag they're magnets, so you could attach to each other, I mean, kind of, but, you know, it just, you know, if you want to put in your pocket, you know, like, it's, there's like a somewhat safe, way to you know to keep them together and not fall off or you know anything so uh yeah this is the tin the the t3s yeah it's both this is on a two pin as you can see there we go it's close up there's a light indicator right here in the app there's also an app for this i'll talk about that later but uh yeah, this is what it looks like out of the case. This is the case inside of it. And, uh, yeah. All right, so let's talk about the FIO. Uh, let's talk about the case. So, okay, so the light indicates what is charging. So it's it's saying that the, the uh, left side is only charging, but look, there's both of them here. Sometimes you gotta, like, you make, make sure that both of them is 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 you know plugged in right seat now they're both charging that that means it's both charging sometimes there's situations where you know I'm like, like I like I like listening to listening to ASMR at night you know uh, these are pretty good you know on ASMRs so whenever I wake up in the middle of the morning I'm like oh shit oh uh, fuck and I I still have them in my ears I'm like all right just put them put them back in the case and then later at night you found out Oh, f oh man, like one of them was not charging like you see only one light on and it's like, oh, this is like 90% This is like 2% <laughs> it's like, oh man, it was not charging. That's the annoying part Also the case it it's pretty big like look at this Here's a size comparison between an AirPod and a Fio. Um, I don't know which generation this AirPod is. <laughs> Maybe it got bigger and I'm just showing the smallest one. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty, the Fio's pretty big. Uh, in your pocket, it's going to be noticeable in your pocket. Like, you know, people are going to assume like, what is this? Like, uh, just a big ass iPod or small ass iPod? Um, <laughs> so yeah, and also it takes up a lot of space in your pocket. Uh, I always take three things. It's my wallet, my phone, and the Fio. And the most comfortable way is always putting the FIO in one of your pockets by itself. You know, my wallet and my phone have to share a pocket. So, uh, yeah, make sure you either got a lot of a lot of pockets in your pants or maybe you got a purse, you know. Now, another thing about the case, uh, the clam and the sound whenever it closes. It's pretty loud. Uh, let me put it in the mic. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Um, at night, like I said, I love listening to ASMR. These are perfect for ASMR. I'll talk about it later. Uh, whenever I put this back, you know, it's always a problem whenever I wake up at night. It's like, all right, I'm already sleepy. Uh, like two seconds after this, I'm going to go to sleep. So I got to put these back to charge it. Uh, you know, so sometimes, you know, the charging, you know, like you, you got to make sure it's both of them are charging. And also you have to close it very softly. You know, just so it doesn't make a lot of sound. I don't want to disturb anybody who's sleeping around me. So this is pretty loud at night. So that's one of my problems about the clam. Uh, but yeah, it's too big. It uh, makes a lot of sound. And also, you're not sure sometimes when you're charging. But when you're in the middle of the night, you know, you just you just put it there. There you go. And then just close it. Go to sleep. There you go. You don't even you don't even check because you're too tired. And then at night you realize, oh, that wasn't charging. The case has a lot of problems. So I'm not a big fan of the case. All right, so now let's talk about the item itself, the uh, the FIO and the 10 T3s. So, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, battery life. They say it's around 30 hours and I gotta agree. Um, not, not 30 hours, you know, this by itself, but you know, when you charge it with this, yeah, 30 hours, this carries 30 hours. Um, Maybe I would say like in practice, like 
10 hours or maybe less. Now, if you're using this like 24 hours nonstop, yeah, 10 hours. Um, but like if you're using it like day to day, like, you know, a few hours there and then, yeah, this could last the entire day. Now, there's also an app for this. This is called the uh, the Fio Control. And uh, yeah, and here it tells you the, uh, you know, the battery on, you know, right or left. Uh, you know, all this, you know, a lot of settings, a lot of EQs here. And also, you know, you could decide, you know, how much power or volume extra you want to put in, you know. And uh, yeah, the, you know, because, you know, like I said, you know, this isn't, it, these are two different devices. This is the tin and this is the Fio, you know. So this itself has like, a, I guess, a, an amp. So you can switch this to any IEMs. And depending on the IEMs, you could put more power into it on the app. If you need more volume, you got it over here. Oh no, I already got it on max because you know I like ASMR. <laughs> the more the the more volume the better. Um not sure if it's gonna damage my ear in years. But uh yeah, pretty good. Uh I do I think these are pretty good. If you if you if you want portability and you got like one of these IEMs that are like, you know, it's it's for enthusiasts. Um yeah, this these are great. You know, I got the 1033s. You know, these aren't these aren't the most, you know, hi-fi. These are like uh, chi-fi, you know, type of things. But uh, yeah, they sound great on these. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, well, now let's talk about ASMR. I love ASMR. You know, I love listening at night. You know, that's it. It's the only way to get me asleep. All right. Like I'm having a hard time. But yeah, listening to ASMR is pretty good with these, you know, um, I, you know, I had the idea to buy these because, you know, I used to listen to these wired and, um, you know, my Samsung, this, this is an old Samsung. I still have not changed this. Why? It's because it has, it has a jackpot. All right. So, you know, I, I, I use the fuck out of it, but now something's wrong with the jackpot. Look how old this is. I am also, I also have a blue collar job, so that's why it's all fucked up. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I used the jackpot, but now it's it's not working no more. And the, the, the charger is also not working no more. So, you know, it's about time I got to, you know, upgrade. But um, yeah, like the jackpot wasn't working. So I was like, fuck, man, I, I can't I can't listen to AS more. I can't listen to anything with the jackpot. So I was like, all right, looks like I got to upgrade to Bluetooth. Now, I was thinking about getting a DAP, you know, like a portable Bluetooth amp. But like, you know, I want to completely try wireless because, you know, whenever my IEMs don't work, it's always got to do with the uh, the wires, the cables. So I was like, you know what? I want to try completely wireless because that's where most of my money is always getting replacements for, you know, these, uh, you know, IEM cables or wires, you know. And, you know, I was like, all right, I'm tired of spending so much money on that, you know. Like, sometimes most of these headphones, you know, the, the, the first thing that breaks is the wires and the cables, you know. So, that's why I got these. Alright, so let's talk about the fit. So, the fit is actually pretty good. Uh, you see this rubber right here? It's actually metal that you can bend. So, you know, depending whatever ear you have, you could change the position. And I thought it was actually pretty cool because, you know, everybody has different size ears. Or, or at least the IEM you got is, you know, different and needs to be, you know, like, changed. You can actually bend it. Alright, so the button. So, the button has a function, you know, one time you pre you play, one time you pause, uh, t if you press it two times, you know, you skip a music, or if you hold it, the volume goes up, or maybe, you know, the power goes off, you know, all that stuff. Um, in the app, you get to des decide, you know, what they do, like, you know, f button function one, two, and three. You don't get to customize it, the, you know, the, the app decides for you, you know, which one do you think it you know, feels your need. I'm trying to press this. There we go. You know, right here. So yeah, you don't get to customize it. So uh, yeah, I just I just tend not to use it. You know, some there there is a problem. Sometimes it just doesn't work. You know, uh, sometimes I'm just like pause it, pause it, pause. Okay, and like the second time maybe it ca it gets catches it. You know, but uh yeah, button function. It's there, but, you know, I, I just don't use it. Um, they also got a mic. I don't know where they put the mic. 
maybe it's here. I don't, I don't know where it is, but uh, there is a mic, and you, you know, you can call somebody, and you know, the mic, you know, captures it pretty good. <laughs> my phone, you know, my phone's getting fucking old, is destroying itself. Uh, the mic doesn't work, so pretty useful using this. So uh, yeah, so yeah, overall the feel was pretty useful. I've used it everywhere. I use it whenever I work out, use it whenever I go out, you know, traveling, all that stuff. Th these are perfect, you know. Um, now, I will say I've only used one IEM. This is the only IEM I've been using it. So, you know, depending on the IEM, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it does. I don't know. But uh, with the 10T3s, these are perfect. So, uh, uh, let me do, let me talk about the 10s, 10T3s. So, I've had the previous tins, I had like the twos, and then the fours, and I thought they were really good, but this one, this one, oh my god. I thought, <laughs> I thought these were like more expensive. I, th I got these on sale, I remember I got it for $69, uh, and when I got it, I thought, holy shit, did I just stole this? <laughs> like, was it on sale for 90% off? I thought this was like, uh, like over $100 IEM. I just found out, you know, oh, it was just like, you know, $10 off. So these were cheap IEMs. This has got to be the best cheap IEMs that I've had. This is a warm type of IEM, you know. This is for uh, people who want to just lay back and relax and enjoy the music. This isn't a analytical type of IEM. But if you've only spent $50 on an IEM, this is quite impressive. This is a quite impressive cheap IEM. Um, you know, wait for it when it goes on sale or maybe spend an extra $20. It is worth the price for this. Uh, you know, the detail is there. Uh, the soundstage is great. The bass is amazing. Now, I will say, <laughs> I haven't had the much experience with IEMs. I think I've only had, I've only bought in the, the tins, the, like I said, the tin, the twos and the fours, and then the blondes. And, you know, maybe a sure IEM, but that's it. That's all my experience has been. But, uh, yeah, these are pretty good. If you're in a budget, yeah, get these. These are amazing. The bass, the, the mids, the vocals, everything is great. For the price, especially, you know. I thought, you know, I, I thought I got like an over $100 IEM, but these are like somewhere around, you know, $70, $80. And when you go when when it goes on sale, it's even cheaper. So uh, yeah, get these. These are pretty good. That's my short review on these. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you know, like I said, I, I don't have that much experience with IEMs, especially. So yeah, pretty good headphones and pretty good Bluetooth. The the Fio, these were both have been great. I highly recommend it. I can't promise uh, they sound amazing on other IEMs, but uh, yeah, they've been great with with these. You know. Uh, I gotta try other ones, like maybe like, uh, you know, Moontrop or, uh, what else are there existing? Uh, maybe the Blondes, maybe not the Blondes, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, maybe, and maybe, uh, you know, other stuff. So, uh, yeah, review, okay, so, of course, the, the IMs are like, you know, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, uh, and these would be a 7 out of 10. They would be higher but a lot of the points have gotten away because of the case on how loud it is uh you know sometimes it doesn't charge you got to make sure that it's you know you you, you charge you, you got to make sure the light has been on you know or unless you know this is on on you know it would just not charge this side uh a lot of them is in the case it's too big also uh the button functions is not the best you know it exists Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah, I gotta talk, take a lot of points off because, you know, it's not perfect perfect, but it's pretty good. Like, if, you, if, you, if you're not using the buttons or if you don't care about the case and how big and how loud and, you know, how sometimes it doesn't, doesn't charge, then it's a perfect, uh, you know, setup. So, uh, yeah. Bye.